was pulling up my hair the day I cut the deal. Chemically calm, was I meant to feel happy that my life was just about to change? What do you do when everyone around you has somewhere to be in the morning? When they all grab their hard-earned coffee and disappear into the city like a machine? like really ridiculous but YouTube shorts featured me on a billboard for some odd reason I don't know why they picked me but they did <laughs> so we're gonna go and see it so I think it's this one now I just need to wait for it to like come on 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 let's do it let's do it I think it's me Clearly, there is potential to this baby YouTube channel that I am creating. And I mean, I have so many ideas for it, so many places that I want to go and explore and travel and make stories on, but I need money. So you know what that means? I really need to get it. No, 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 no. I don't want to get a job. I don't want to get a job. I don't want to get a job. Oh my God, no, I do. I do, but ugh. I hate the feeling of people just telling me no. I hate that feeling. It's why I didn't apply to Ivy League. I love BU, but like, I regret that I didn't apply to Harvard. It's that same fear. It's that same fear. I don't know what to do. I, oh God. If I wanted to finally get the things I wanted out of life, I needed to overcome my fear of rejection. And that meant applying to the biggest, scariest, most unattainable company I could think of, Vogue. Only the pinnacle of the fashion world and a barrier to entry that feels impossible to scale would help chip away at what freezes me from doing anything productive. But I couldn't just leap straight to Vogue. I needed a structured plan that would help me attain more confidence. And the first step was to try something new and get used to mistakes. Hi, uh, I'm here for the pottery class. Hi, welcome. Hi, hello. So basically you're going counterclockwise like this. Wait, counterclockwise is left. Anything left, yes. <laughs> right. So just a quarter of the way through. Yeah, no, going all the way down, oh, but leaving about a quarter of an inch on the bottom. Sorry. New hobbies always make me feel free. They allow you to fail without punishing you for it, which I feel the world does too much of. Imagine if more of us were given the space to make mistakes, how many new topics we'd choose to learn, how many more risks we'd take and ideas we'd pursue. It doesn't seem fair that we have to sacrifice passion and fulfillment simply because we're afraid of the repercussions if we try. Done. This is obviously not super straight, but it's okay. <laughs> and it's beautiful, and it's your first mug, and I think you did a really great job. Teacher. <laughs> One other thing that I need to do in order to practice believing that I am capable is to take responsibility of something. So I'm going to go adopt a child. Just kidding, I'm just gonna go buy a plant. <laughs> never been in a greenhouse before. The last time I had to take care of something was my pet fish, Rainbow Jasmine the first, when I was 11. So I couldn't wait to show my new plant to my- It's so ugly. Why did you just look so ugly? It's not ugly. Uh -uh. Why do you think it's ugly? So here we are at Trader Joe's, buying a new plant. <laughs> Welcome home. What should we name her though? She needs a name. Taking any and all suggestions down in the comments. But I gotta learn responsibility. I gotta do something that's adulty, And this is a good way to jumpstart that. I really hope I can keep this plant alive. <laughs> but my problems hadn't even started yet. Before I could pitch myself to Vogue, I needed to practice pitching myself to other people I desperately did not want to DM, my favorite YouTubers. To give myself the spiritual energy to do this, I headed to the influencer mecca of LA, Dialogue Coffee. Oh my God, my stomach is killing me. I, I don't wanna do this. I don't know why it's so hard. I don't know why it's so hard to just DM anybody, to just pitch myself. I, <sighs> You don't like you don't hear my heart beating, but like my my heart is beating. I promise you. <sighs> okay, we're.
we're going to DM five YouTubers. Just five. My five dream YouTubers. Okay, maybe not my five dream ones. No. Three dream ones, two safety ones. My first victim is Moya Mawini. Paste and ah, sent. Okay. I have no idea if she's ever going to see this because she probably gets like 10,000 DMs, but it's there. We sent it. Good job, me. One down, four more to go. Next is Jack Edward. Dear Jackie Jack, I love your couch and would love to jump on it. My number is 555-5555. Luke, I, there is like a chance that he might reply because he takes so long between all of his projects. So I'm going to pitch myself as a shorts editor. Sup, Lukey Luke. Are you dating Kyla? Eye emoji, star face emoji, grave emoji, monkey face emoji. Dobo Chobo. Hello, Deborah. My name is Batsheva and I am desperate for a job. Please hire me as your butler. Your mom, Ashley. Hello, your mom, Ashley. I am looking for a sugar baby. I'm sorry if this offends, but I'm willing to pay $100 in cookies to take you out. And also, Kelly doesn't have to know. What do you say? Send. I feel like I have a good chance now. Yeah. Much, much later. So nobody answered my DMs. So I'm just gonna go make dinner. But at least I did it. You know what? At least I did it. I mean, I expected it. It doesn't matter how talented or dedicated you are, sometimes the only word you hear is no. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not really that annoyed. I'm actually quite proud that I had the bravery to send those pitches. But wouldn't it be nice if just once a yes came easy? So I've had Zusha's camera for four months. I think it's high time I returned it to him. But also, I wanted to pick his brain because Zusha is, well, you'll see. Hello, how you doing? This oh is my your God, baby. Thank you, I have waited for this quite some time. <laughs> I promise I only broke one of them. Oh nice, my lens, I forgot he existed, little baby. <laughs> <laughs> My cameras. Nice. I see a scrap. No, I'm kidding. Looks like we're a couple. Couple of besties! <laughs> there we go. Tell the world what you do for a living. So, there's a hand in my face. I am a celebrity portrait photographer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know. I didn't, I, I, I didn't know it was that type of video. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, Crown Heights. This guy over here, he pitched himself. You freelance for Deadline now. I fangirled when you photographed Lily James and Ellie Fanning. Ellie Fanning, yeah, she's amazing. Ellie Fanning, yeah. So, about Lily James, not only is she so nice and down to earth, but when there was a whole fiasco happening with like the Jews years, like two years ago, oh, you mean she like stuck up for us. She posted on her story. She was like, we have to combat this. It's not okay, different things. And I really respected that. How did you overcome that hurdle of I'm not good enough? Okay. I did not overcome the hurdle yet. It's yeah. a work in progress. I have to take you back to the beginning, beginning of when I first started doing photography, which yeah. was, I was maybe 18. I'm from Crown Heights, no connections, 3,000 miles away from the industry no money, how am I gonna go break into this? So for the first like two years, I would watch different TV shows and then I would DM the actors on Instagram. Did anybody like answer so you? So I got a lot of rejection. I must have messaged hundreds. The more you pursue rejection, the more you build up like a muscle. I remember this one actress from Game of Thrones. I kind of spammed, I kind of spammed people. In my head, unless I hear a no, it's a yes. So I could copy and paste the message for like weeks until at one point she just said, thanks, comma, but no. And I was like, <laughs> But she answered you. I mean, I got a win is a win. What's the lowest number you've ever had in your bank account? What's the lowest number you ever had in your bank account? How about that? <laughs> um, twenty dollars. Really? Yeah. As in, what do you? <laughs> I can say that because the lowest I've ever had in my bank account as a fully grown adult was minus four. It's a real thing. <laughs> no. It ha it ha no, it's it. Thing. I'm sorry, I'm lying. Are you really? Are you I'm for real? real? I'm not for fake. We got like 20 minutes before, like you got your <laughs> therapy appointment. Yeah, I have therapy in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Good boy. I want to see. Can you like do a photo shoot for me with like 10 minutes that we have? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Oh my god, I love that one. I love that one. I love that one. Giving Vogue model. <laughs> Look at the expression on your face. Zusha, you're so good. Thank you, Zusha. I know.
did it. Are you sad?